this is Yeti Whiskers, and welcome back to some more modded Minecraft here on Regrowth. Loving, loving, loving Regrowth. Ha, I'm so glad we're back. Oh, it's been nice. Anyway, how's everybody doing today? Hopefully you all are doing fantastic. I know I am doing pretty well here myself. Getting to play lots of Minecraft, which is always a good thing. Oops, these ones I think we actually have all the way up. Doop. Okay, so you guys know how this works, right? First things first, let's start off with the life of the world. So we're working on Mystical Flower Final. Just a bit of mutation and you should have all the Mystical Flower Seeds. So the lefts we have pink, brown, light gray. And let's go ahead and grab some magical food real quick. Boop. And we need to actually run over and create ourselves some bones and bone meal before we get going because I ran out in between episodes so let's go like this and 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 like that and like so okay perfect Ooh, got lots of bone meal which is good okay let's see let's go run over there and we'll start our ugh, start the process the painstaking process of mutating mystical flowers so, Mrs. Yeti and I have been busy putting in our fence uh, last weekend, this last weekend. So let's see, hold on. Pink, we need purple and white, which makes no sense. You would think it would be red and white, but hey, you know, whatever. Something is squeaking. It's probably the little scroll guy. Uh, so, yeah, we've been putting in our fence on our side yard. It's been going very well. This one, we need purple and green for brown. Purple, green. Yeah, it's going pretty well. We've got most of the most of the fence. We're only doing one side of the house. We've got most of that set up. Uh, we just need to do a gate, and then we've got a couple special cuts that we need to make for the pickets because they don't match perfectly on the measurements of the fence. So we've got to cut a couple of those, make them a little bit thinner, and then we got to put the gate in, and bam, we are done. And it's starting to look pretty good, I think. It looks nice. Like, you put in all this work... When you're making a fence, we're doing wood, and uh, hey, maybe we'll put a pic screw. We'll put a picture up on screen if I can remember. So I hold on, write this down. Uh, fence pick. I'm gonna try and remember to put that down in so we can you guys can kind of see what we were doing. But yeah, it's you put in a lot of work at the beginning. You know, you dig post holes, you put the posts in the post holes, and then you fill it with cement. And the mixing of the cement, and then you let it set for about 24 hours. And then you've got to put in your cross beams. And then you can finally tack on the fence pickets. And that is the most rewarding part, and it takes the least amount of time. So anyway, that's what we've been up to. Uh, it took about a half day of work today so that we could get that done. And yeah, things have been going pretty well for us. So here's what we're going to do. Rather than you listen to me blab like I normally do, I am going to make a cut here real quick. And once we got some of these guys going, you know the drill. I'll catch up with you. So see you in just a sec. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. I don't know if this has ever happened to us, but check it out. We've got pink. We've got light gray. And we have got brown. hey <laughs> Boom! Just like that, we got all three. What do you know? And we'll claim our reward, of course. And let's go ahead and make these guys into the petals so that we can just start storing them uh, right away. Thank you. Thank you. And let's store our petals in our special little chest here. So let's see, white, these guys, that guy, Boop. these three petals. And we are only going to need a one of the purple. Boop, boop. And let's see, I'm not sure white. I'm pretty sure we're safe to ditch. The others I'm not so sure about. So we'll leave them in our inventory and it's getting time for bed. Let's go run to bed real quick. Whoa. So today, you guys probably already know by now because of the title, but we're gonna do something different. We are jumping into the a different mod something that we have i've never personally played with and that is let's open up our quest book real quick i will show you the world is built from noob 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 the encoding of the world sifty business fish are the first animal you found to have potential for genetic enhancement to get started breeding them though you'll need a way to catch them which will require some form of bait 
So we need a sifter. A grasshopper, hello. Uh, so the sifter, we may have to go do this in just a second, but this is from the mod Mariculture. We're gonna need some wood planks, a fishing net, which is some string and stuff. Well, luckily now we've got that in spades, no biggie at all. Okay, get some more magical food here. Thank you. Okay, let's see. This is kind of a nightmare over here. We got green. Okay, let's do pink. Get this so that it can grow out real quick. Then we need light gray. Boop. I mean, you need to grab more wood here shortly. So this is a problem that I've been running into is I just haven't been paying as much attention to these flowers as I should be. Oh, yep, there we go. Boop. Let's see if we've got wood. Hopefully we have some. Yes, we do. Dark oak sticks to crop sticks. There we go. Boop. Some of these guys. Okay, let's see. Green. I'm pretty sure we got green going on over there. Right? Purple I didn't see. Boop. Some of this. Let's go out this far right now. Ooh. Brown we just got. Okay, so let's double check green and gray. So there's green. Gray, I don't think we have gray. Okay, let's go make one for gray. Oh, they're all over the place. Kind of makes me a little disgusted. Blah. Not very attractive at all. But trying to make the other flowers. There we go. Need gray. Make sure that one's green. Yeah, but in making the other flowers and such, we have been destroying <laughs> the mystical flowers that we do have. So like you'll see, I'm missing some at the beginning here. Thank you, Blue. Uh, like this magenta one's gone. <laughs> Just all over the place. Anyway, okay, let's not focus on that anymore. Let's get back into the swing of things. So let's go back over to our base where we can get some spider string as well as some sticks. I'm pretty sure. Well, I'm gonna have to go grab some wood. I'm pretty sure I don't have wood, any type of wood in here anymore. Let's double check, yeah, nothing. And nothing, okay. String, I do know I've got though. Yeah, I got a couple stacks worth. Woo! It's getting nighttime already, that went quick. Uh, no. Grab some wood for sticks, and I know that I've got plenty of spruce. So I'll grab a bunch of that. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, let's see, we need to make more sticks first, I guess. And then, oh, I just got rid of all our planks. Let's grab boop, another one of these. Uh, let's grab about half, make some of this guy. All right, here we go. We're actually making the sifter now, I promise. Say sifter, good. Clear this all out. Next, we need this guy. Perfect. Check it out. We should get our nice little reward. Yes. Some grasshoppers. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right, next we're going to make the fishy situation. Now that you've got some bait, time to arm yourself with a fishing rod to find and find yourself some fish. To catch live fish, you'll probably want to stand in the water. So, let's see. First of all, crafting task. We have the reed fishing rod. I actually made this earlier in order to catch something for, I think it was a witchery. But anyway, uh, better fishing rods can be made from wood soaked in fish oil and titanium, each having better chances of catching fish and requiring different types of bait. So first thing first, let's go grab our fishing rod, which should be over with our Batania stuff. It's kind of just been sitting there for a while because I haven't needed it. And oh, you know what? It was for a Batania recipe. I can't remember which one, but I assume it was from one of the runes or something. Nope, vanilla fishing rod. Where did that thing go? Do I have it in my pack? Nope. Well, let's try the vanilla one. See if we can't get lucky. And we need to catch a cod, I think. Do, do, do. Cod, yes. So you've got a rod. Now catch a fish. To use the rod with bait, place the bait in the slot next to the rod on your hot bar. Fishing is not biome or water specific in this pack. Good to know. So we've got the fish. Let's put the bait right next to it in the hot bar. We're going to go stand out here and see if this works. Waha! Stand in the water. Hopefully it doesn't take very long. I would assume not. All right, here we go. Go this way. Oh, yeah, that was quick. Boop, got one already. Cod, done. First cast. 
Like 10 seconds. What? Manual detect. Card? Do I not have a card? What is this? Ah! Buttons. Buttons, buttons. Raw card. Well, yeah, I've got raw card. What do I gotta do to make it not raw card? Ooh, fish meal. That's disgusting. Uh, try again. Come here, friend. Come here, fishy. What's this guy? Raw puffer fish. If I stand outside of the water, is that going to give me what I want? Raw cod. What's the difference between raw cod and regular cod? Because that's what the issue I'm having here, friends. Cod. Hmm. Let's see. Just cod. Raw cod. Cod. I spend long fertility. Da, 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 da. Well, I'm going to keep doing some fishing and I will catch up with you all in just a second. See you guys on the other side of this thing. <laughs> all right, so I figured out how we get the correct variety of fish. You need the actual reed um, fishing pole, which you get by. Let's see. Whoop. You can see all these fish I'm getting. So you see these little blue ones? That's how you know you got the right kind. So all you need to do to create the reed fishing rod is get three of your sugar cane and two of your string, and just like you would make a normal rod. And the way you go, and you can see it's working because the bait, oops, just to the right of the fishing rod is going down. When I was using the vanilla fishing rod, that wasn't working. So, uh, da -da -da. come on, where's some fishies? Boop, got one. There's a lot of varieties of fish also in this pack, which is pretty cool. Come here, you. I need cod. Regular old cod. So I'm just going to keep doing this. Maybe we'll do a little time lapse in Yeti speed. What do you guys think about that? Oh, God. No, raw minnow. Keep going. So anyway, yeah, we'll do a little Yeti speed, and I will catch up with you guys once we have some cod. And there we go. I don't know why that made a difference, but the way that we got it that way made it work. So now we've got fishing and breeding. We've got a fluid tank, and we've got a wooden fishing rod. I don't have inventory space. Let's see. What can I dump? This green guy. Goodbye. I want this fish. Okay. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a chest real quick so that we can store our fish. As well, ooh, ah, well, well, wrong button here. As well as our fishing rod. Boy, we got a lot of stuff. Uh, we can ditch torches for now. How about that? Stick them in there. Do, 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 as it becomes nighttime. So let's go ahead and put our fishing uh, stuff. Let's put it right here for now. Let's find that chest. Load it up with all the goodies that we've gotten so far. All these guys, all these guys, all these. Some bait, some fishing rods. Boop. Was that squid? Got a squid. Stingray. Perfect. Okay, let's go run to, to bed real quick. And then we can sort out. Let's also dump in our string. Bone meal we might need in a second. All right, going to bed. So then once we wake up, we should go ahead and be able to claim this reward. Thank you. Okay, feeding time is the next guy. Let's go ahead and toss this in there. Thank you. And for feeding time, once you have yourself some live fish, you'll want to build a tank to keep them in. Different fish species require different sized tanks to live in. The core of any tank is the fish feeder, which deploys fish food to sustain the fish and is also the point where you can interact with the otherwise freeform tank structure. Oh boy, I might have to do some research to figure this out. A tank is measured as the number of blocks of water surrounding the tank. When you place your fish in the tank through the interface of the feeder, it may give you an error message. If the tank is too small, it will tell you how many more blocks of water uh, da, da, need to be nearby for that fish species. The tank's size also determines the amount of fish food that can be stored in the feeder at once. To provide fish food, you can either drop the fish meal in the water around the feeder, or you can pop in liquid fish food. Okay. Oh, yeah. I think we've got to make ourselves a fish tank. Thank you, fluid tank. So let's go ahead and we're just going to section off a little bit of this. I just kind of want to test it, see what will happen. So let's do, start right here and fill this in the bottom. Maybe something like, like 
this. Boop, 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 boop. And then we can go up from here, up from here, there, 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 like so. Oh, we're going to need to go down for this guy. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Ah, no more bobbing. No more bobbing. There we go. It's like so. Finish this in like that. Okay, now let's make ourselves a... We need to make a feeder, I think it was called. Fish feeder. Oh, wicker. We're going to need some sticks. And some sugar cane, which we have plenty of both. I need to do is get myself a crafting station. I guess let's grab a stack of that. Oh, thank you. Did we end up getting it? Where'd it go? Hello? Okay, we got plenty more. Okay, let's go this way. We're going to go craft ourselves these little wicker things. And then what else did I need? I need just fish and a chest. Okay, that should be pretty straightforward. Let's grab two random fish. Don't care which ones. And head this way. Okay. Oh, thank you, torches. So let's make a chest real quick. Thank you, backpack. Not sure what you're doing there. Okay, then this guy... Let's make six of these. One, two, three. Oh, no. What do we out of sticks? Probably. Boop. We need three more. Now what am I out of sticks again? Okay. No problem. F problem solved. Last one. <laughs> oh, six of these guys. All right. Clear this guy out. And then we should be able to boop. Fish feeder. Done. Okay. Inside the fish feeder, we should just be able, from what that sounds like now, I'm going to get this wrong. I can almost guarantee it. I'm going to need to insert the fish feeder. Ooh, very nice. Okay, it works. Then we need to get, uh, what's the other thing it said? Fish meal? How many of those? Five? Okay, I think that's pretty straightforward. Let's grab five of our cod. Oh, that made us a ton. That's fine. Fish feeder. Okay. Should we try a, well, let's see. We claim our reward. Crafting task. Next, we need a basic cooling upgrade. So you may also find you need a cooling upgrade to make the temperature of the tank habitable for the fish. To get the needed snow, you can use a snowball plant, which you may need mutations to get. Okay, so we've already got that. Let's get the cooling. Whoa. Cooling. Basic cooling upgrade. So we need cooling component. We need a bunch of iron and stuff. No problem. Some snow. Okay, yeah, that shouldn't be too problem. Too big of a deal. I think most of our stuff for that is this way. So let's grab like a stack. You think a stack of snow should do it? Snowballs. Hopefully I've been collecting enough. Oh yeah, we got 11 stacks. That's plenty. And then we'll go head over and grab some iron. I know we've got plenty of that as well. And I think I've still got enough wood. We should be okay there to get ourselves this cooling upgrade component thing. This is interesting, guys. I've never used the Mariculture stuff. It's kind of a little bit frightening for me. The same with the uh, the B mod. I don't remember that. Is that Mariculture as well, or is that something else? I don't know. A stack of that. Boom. Boom. Wait, we need two of these guys. What am I missing? More wood. Boop. One, two. Okay, then I need one of these guys. Uh, thanks. One of you, clear this out, I guess. One of you, and boom. Basic cooling upgrade, got it. And we get a bottle of fish food. hey -o. Okay, hatching a plan. Once your fish are happy in their tank, they will eventually die off, leaving behind some eggs. Minnows are a good starting point for your fish breeding, being able to survive their environment with three basic cooling upgrades installed. So minnows are a good starting point for fish breeding. We need fish eggs. Three basic cooling upgrades, huh? We'll see. Let's go take a look. Apparently, we're going to need three of these guys, which I don't know that I've got the snow for on me. Now, I'm going to have to go grab two, a couple more stacks of snow. So I may do that off camera real quick if this doesn't work right away. Uh, 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 I need a stingray. Let's go stick you. Basic cooling upgrade. Stick you in there. How's he doing? Too small. Oh, we need a lot. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Let's see what else do we got. Uh, raw minnow, goldfish. Let's try goldfish. They don't need much space, do they? 
Nope, we can also can't go in there. Boop. Stingray, grasshopper, squid. Let's try the squid. Too hot. Tank too small. 20 plus water. Fishing. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this all ready, and uh, I'm going to do some more fishing, catch some more stuff, and I'll catch up with you once we've got this figured out. So I will see you all in just a sec. All right, everybody, welcome back. So I've done a little bit of research. We're going to have to do a bunch more fishing. But I do think I know finally how to figure or how to work this guy. So we have a bunch more fishing we need to do in order to get the proper fish. I've got to do some sifting in order to get, well, let's see, I swear I had at one point in time. Let's show you how to use the sifter real quick and then we'll call it an episode. Where is my backpack? Uh oh, where did I put my backpack? Bum, bum, bum. Hopefully we didn't lose it somewhere. Oh, no. That would not be good, my friends. Not good at all. Did we put it in a chest somewhere? I sure hope we put it in a chest somewhere. Anyway, so the sifter. And then we'll call it a day. So, I yeah, I've got to do a bunch more fishing, catch the proper fish. And we should then at some point in time. Oh, no. My backpack. Where did you go? Hmm. Oh, there it is. Right there. Got it. Okay, so with the sifter, it's pretty straightforward. All you gotta do is control Q, drop those guys, poom, we get a bunch of bait. Thank you very much. Get some worms, some ants, and then we'll just use that to fish, catch the fish we need. Uh, I'm not gonna use the stingrays. These guys need a lot more water than I'm willing to give them. And uh, yeah, so once we get that all figured out in between episodes, I think that's what we're gonna have to do, friends. I just, I don't see another way around it. Let's see, a wooden fishing rod. I'm gonna do some fishing right now. And anyway, so that's pretty much it for today. Sorry we didn't get it all situated, but I feel like we got a good start on the fish. Yeah, <sighs> truly do appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the regrowth videos. I love regrowth so much. And I'm glad that a few of you are out there are enjoying as well. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We truly do appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one. Take it easy, everybody.